Okay, this is a short video on cohesion. Many students often ask me what exactly is cohesion? How do you promote uh, cohesion in an answer, in an essay? Um, well, promoting cohesion in an essay is fairly simple, but before that, what exactly is cohesion? Well, let me explain with an analogy. Um, Everybody is aware of the of uh, sand and clay. And what exactly is the difference between sand and clay? Well, each particle of sand is separate and behaves individually. It behaves individually. While each particle of clay is linked to the other particles. So there is a bond between different particles and they behave as one unit. So there is unity uh, in the clay particles. And this unity between clay particles, this bond, is called cohesion. So when various elements of your essay behave as one unit, they're, 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 they do not seem distinct from each other. Rather, they connect with one another. So there is a proper connection between various parts of the essay, between sentences within different parts of a sentence and between different paragraphs. That's called cohesion. Okay. So I have found beautifully written, um, I would say, sh sh a short um, paragraph in today's newspaper. Uh, it's the livemint.com. So it's a live mint. And I'm going to share that with you from the perspective of cohesion. So let's let's move. Let's move and discuss this. So it begins with landlocked Zambia in Africa is facing a debt crisis. So the opening sentence gives us an idea what exactly is expected in the following sentences. So in the following sentences the uh, writer is going to discuss about Zambia and is going to discuss about the debt crisis in that country. Um, during the years of rising copper prices, so he's explaining um, debt crisis, how that came into being. And the first part of explanation is uh, starts from the past and it moves to um, more a nearer past, in fact, or close to the present. So that's how uh, the writer has structured so during the years of rising copper prices, the Zambian economy boomed. However, when the prices started falling in 2011, the country borrowed to stimulate the economy. Let us not uh, go into how the things are structured here. Let us stick to cohesion. So what are the elements that promote cohesion in this paragraph? Well, first element is during. During X comma Y. During such and such phase during X, something happened. That is why. And what was something? The Zambian economy boomed. Okay, so during X, Y promotes cohesion between X and Y. These are two separate things which are connected using during. So that's a cohesive element. Okay. However, however is the second cohesive element. However, so it means that you are going to express some contrast with the previous statement. So during the raise years of uh, rising copper prices. So now you can expect that the prices will start falling. So that's a signal which is given by however. When the prices started falling in 2011, the country borrowed to stimulate the economy. Now, when is also acting as a cohesive device. When. A comma B. So there are two things. A is the prices started falling in 2011 and B is the country borrowed to stimulate the economy. So during A, this is the same as when. Both are similar. So something during this phase, during the phase of A, something happened which is B similar to X and Y and what is connecting the two of them? Then. So it is also a cohesive device. It promotes cohesion within a sentence. Now let us move forward. The prices. The is an excellent cohesive device. You should always uh, keep this in mind that the is an excellent cohesive device. The prices started falling in 2011. 
So which price is? The is a referencing device. It's a referencing device. And it refers back to copper prices in the previous sentence. So you must note that while during x comma y and when a comma b are promoting cohesion within a sentence. However, the prices they are promoting cohesion between separate sentences. Okay, so the prices refers back to copper prices. They started falling in 2011. The country, okay, which country? It refers back to Zambia. In the first sentence so while the prices connects with the second sentence it links second and the third sentence the country links links third and the first sentence borrowed to stimulate the economy which is the economy the Zambian economy okay so there is strong cohesion in this paragraph in this small but um, from the perspective of learning a truly important paragraph. So I'm sure this video helped you understand the concept of cohesion. Um, follow my channel. What can I say? You guys are, already know about uh, how this channel can work you, or can uh, really help you in understanding various concepts. And you can contact me for answer correction as well. Thank you for watching.